The road to the Guam International Marathon continued today as the GIM held a beach-themed press conference at the Pacific Islands Club to bring the public up to speed on some of the things that will make this year's event bigger than last year's, including an increase in off-island runners competing in the different races GIM has to offer. Well, you know, we're looking for a bigger participation number than we had last year. Last year we had around 1,500 runners come from overseas, most of them from Japan. We had about 1,000 runners come from Japan. Uh, we're expecting that number to grow, uh, to grow somewhat. Uh, we all know that Japan visitor arrivals have been relatively flat, so we're hoping we can see a little bit of growth there. Uh, we've got a big contingency of runners that come out of Korea. Uh, and we've seen this year that we've seen more interest coming out of Taiwan and Hong Kong. So that number is probably double what it was last year. So maybe as much as 200, 250 runners from Taiwan and Hong Kong. I'm hearing a, a rumor that we might have some Kenyans that are coming from the Philippines. A couple of Kenyan runners that live in the Philippines are interested in coming over. Uh, and these guys are, are, are very world class, yeah, they're world class runners. So. Yeah, we might have those folks joining us, and of course we always have very fast runners come from Japan and Korea. I mean, these guys are, are world class in their own right. So yeah, I think we're going to have a great uh, turnout with those type of athletes. Ferguson also broke the news that 2000 Sydney Olympic gold medalist and GIM ambassador Naoko Takahashi will be on hand for the GIM Expo April 8th through 9th to conduct a running clinic. Uh, the Expo will also feature a plethora of fun and fit activities to kick off GIM weekend. With other new GIM features this year, including a light show, fiesta, cheering, and cooling stations, Ferguson says the hard work put in by the GIM and his partners will definitely pay off come race weekend. Yeah, I think the biggest takeaway for me is, again, the, the tremendous level of support that we're receiving from uh, members of the media, which we really appreciate that. Um, you're vital to our mission in promoting the event. Um, but the level of support that we've received from our governmental agencies and all of our sponsors and everybody that really makes the event happen. With a finisher's beach party, GIM runners will have so much to look forward to after they cross the finish line, including a new tradition, the GIM dip. I dip, you dip, we dip, in which runners will be encouraged to take off their shoes and dip their tired feet in the beautiful waters of Ipau Beach, highlighting the one-of-a-kind scenery Guam has to offer, something GVB General Manager Nate DeKnight says will definitely put Guam on the sports tourism map. Because that's what Guam is known for, so... Uh, yeah, so we just continue to support GVB events like this, the, the Guam International Marathon, the Coco Race, uh, the Tour of Guam, all these different sports events just to really brand Guam as a sports tourism paradise. And with the announcement today that the GIM is officially a qualifier for the Boston Marathon, GIM officials hope international attention to and participation in GIM will only increase over the years. Remember, GIM registration ends April 5th, and you can register online at guaminternationalmarathon.com. Keeping with GIM, don't forget the stations of KUAM and GIM present your GIM training playlist weekdays at 5 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. on i94fm and streaming at KUAM.com. Each week, a member of Team KUAM shares with you the music that pumps them up for their GIM training. This week's playlist curator is Joan Uggen Charferis, so we thought we'd ask a few people in attendance at today's GIM press conference what kind of music motivates them to train and why. <laughs> you know, when it comes to that, i got to go with my guy Ted Nugent. You know, the Motor City Madman. Maybe throw in a little bit of ACDC, and then I'm, I'm ready to do some running when I hear those guys. Um, anything fast-paced. Um, I listen to I-94 from time to time. Um, anyone from David Guetta, anything that keeps the, the, keeps your heart racing or anything that makes you want to run faster. Eminem or Fetty Wap sometimes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> How about when you're cooling down? Um, like reggae. Reggae music is... Yeah. What kind of reggae? Soldier, uh, Iration or, you know, the... Okay. I like to work out to house music and hip-hop music, so that's it. <laughs> what about when you're cooling down? Uh, when I'm cooling down, I still like to listen to some like mellow house music and also reggae music. I think music kind of just gets you in the zone. It gives you a rhythmic uh, momentum to keep up with when you're running, so it makes it a little easier. It keeps your mind off the pain. <laughs> not really a long distance runner. I'm going to just do the 5K, maybe challenge myself to do the 10K. And uh, let me check my uh, Apple Watch on my play playlist. I listen to a lot of EDM. I hope that's not embarrassing. I got some Hardwell, Cruella, Major Lazer, Dead Mouse, Calvin Harris, Avicii, that kind of dance music. You know, good beat, gets kind of hyped up. And I, 
as slow as I am, I need as fast a, a beat as I can get. So uh, I'm looking through my playlist right now. I have Paramore, I have um, LMFAO, Black Eyed Peas, T-Pain. Uh, I got some DJ Poly D, Bruno Mars, Dr. Dre, a little bit of Beyonce. So um, that's just some of the songs I listen to while I'm running. I, I think it, it just motivates you on the days that when you're really um, tired and you just don't want to do anything and you don't want to run and I just put on some music and I just run on the road and just zone out and get into my own world and I, the beat of the music I think helps and it just pumps me up and by the time I'm done I feel satisfied I feel like I accomplished my goal for the day.